guess we're just waiting for now. I think um, when oh, people are on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Hi. Hello. I don't think we really have anyone yet. There's supposed to be like a number. Oh, look. <gasps> Ooh, two people. Hello. Well, there we go. Hi. I'm Nanette Kilby Smith, editor with the Wilson County News and Laverne News. And I'm my Julia. companion today is. I'm Julia Weaver. Uh, I'm the marketing and social media specialist with the Wilson County News and Laverne News. And thanks for joining us this afternoon, a bright, sunny Wednesday here in Wilson County. We wanted to um, share a few things, bring you up to speed on, on one or two things that are going on here. And first of all, we wanted to say, we hope you're doing very well. Oh yeah, definitely. Everybody right now is just in our thoughts and in our prayers, and we're doing everything that we can as your local source of communication to keep you in the loop and make this as easy as possible for everybody. So, so like you, um, we're experiencing some changes in routine with the schools closed. Julie is with us a little bit more often now. She's yeah. a senior in high school, so she's helping out a lot more than before because she's doing distance learning like we know a lot of students are here in our communities. And um, with those changes, have come some changes here. So, Julia, do you want to kind of outline what impact this has had on our hours and yeah. our working practices? So, so far, we've tried to cut down on the hours that we are operating or having our front office open. And we've changed it to where we are only open on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Because those are really the busy hub days that we experience. And for the most part, it's going well. And we've already put this information out there on our website and social media and whatnot, but we just thought we'd let you know in case you didn't catch it. Uh, don't wanna come by when it's closed and be all disappointed. So, saving you the trouble. And we've also introduced call-in and curbside service uh, pertaining to anything in our gift shop, which is also known as C Street Gift Shop. So lately we've had customers call in their orders for soaps or their lotions, candles, whatever it may be. And we've been able to handle payment and whatnot over the phone or at the curbside station, which is really just right out here in our parking spots. At so. the window here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're also still here, not just for the C Street gift shop, but you can still buy copies of the paper here. If that's yes. your regular habit, we can bring that to the door to the curbside as well. We are making sure to wear gloves and we are keeping everything very clean within the offices. Offices? There's a lot of offices. Building. <laughs> yeah. But here? A rabbit warren of office, offices back here. Yes. So what, what else is new with us? Well, we mostly just wanted to sit down and tell all of our readers and viewers that even though times are changing and everything is really crazy with everybody and with us, uh, we are still doing our very best to provide you with information about your community and what's going on around you. Um, and we do want to emphasize that, yeah, you might not be all out and about like you used to or as much as you used to, but communicating with us and with each other is still really crucial. And we just wanna make sure that you guys stay happy and motivated and talking to each other and don't stop living. <laughs> That's really important. And talking to us, because we're yes. still here, and believe it or not, there's still news happening that is not coronavirus related, as strange as that may sound. So um, we're still here to share your business news, share your community news, and we know that you're still out, um, as we are, still doing things in the community, however limited that might be. And so tell us, help us to share your stories. Yeah. And there may have been things as well that in the rush and bustle of ordinary daily life that you might have thought to share and then got caught up in things and didn't. So if you think of those things, we're still here. So birthdays, anniversaries, if you kind of put together a little something at home and have a little subdued celebration, we'd still like to celebrate that with you too for our birthdays and occasions pages. So don't think that just because it already happened or it might be different than usual that we don't want to hear from you because that's the kind of news that we are proud to share and proud to celebrate the moments in your lives with you. Um, some other things that we are doing is obviously telling the story of 
Wilson County in the time of the coronavirus. Um, everybody's got their story, and today, just this afternoon, we had a few more cases that were confirmed by the county. Bear in mind that compared to the great population in our wonderful state of Texas, the numbers are small, which means that the practices that we've been asked to follow, such as social distancing, washing hands, um, keeping our gatherings small, no more than 10 people, are having the effect of minimizing the re and reducing the spread. And we'd like to keep it that way, so congratulations. Um, the, all your efforts, all our efforts, are having the desired effect, so keep up the great work. It's paying off. And fortunately, this also means that the governor has announced that the schools are going to stay closed until May the 4th. Oh, um, that means that those of us that are teaching at home are going to be doing it for a little bit longer. And we're proud to support you in your efforts. The Wilson County News and Laverne News are great resources for local news for doing that teach at home stuff and sharing the history of the community, what's going on now helping kids, you know, especially preschool, um, elementary level, you know, learn their letters, words, um, sentence structure. It's a great resource for a lot of things. Even basic math, believe it or not, you can teach That's kids true. math with classified ads if you've never tried it. Um, we can help you with that, so give us a call or an email and we'd be happy to share some creative ways that we know teachers have used um, the Wilson County News and our products yeah. in the classroom. And I mean, that's not even to mention the Kids Scoop. It's this whole page of puzzles that we have with our South Texas Living 411 area. Yeah, of puzzles and activities, very bright, yes. vibrant, really engaging. And You're they're good love for it. the brain. It's like Sudoku and the, the one with the words. It's not a word search. No, it's, it's a crossword. It's a crossword. Those are the ones where you fill in the boxes. The crossword where you fill in the boxes, start. yes. Yeah, those ones. Those are. They can be pretty tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Me and my mom tried doing one and it took us a good half hour. <laughs> I'm gonna say Sudoku is not my forte, but I love crosswords and, and oh, yeah. word searches. But um, all of the activities, and there's comics just for a little bit of light reading, so don't forget <laughs> that. Those pages as well are really good if you don't necessarily want to work them. You know, tear it out of the paper, fold it up, and send it to somebody in a nursing home or a family member that's isolated, maybe living on their own great to help and share um, in this time when we're all looking for some creative uses for our time. Definitely, definitely. It's really important to keep the communication lines open with the people who are isolated, uh, especially in nursing homes, uh, as they're used to getting their visitors, and it's a big shock to everybody, but especially them. Oh yeah, so Sandra Dedimore, she just left a little comment on the live uh, in that little thing, but she just reminded us that she's actually starting her Drama Kids classes online really soon, which is really exciting. Uh, you should definitely check that out. Her Facebook page should, I don't know if it's under DK San Antonio or Sandy Dedimore. It'll probably pop up under both, but definitely check them out if your kids are looking for something productive and good to do with their time and some new skills to learn. Those things are life skills. I was actually her first drama kid, and I can tell you it has paid off. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's just generally engaging. It's a great way for kids oh, to yeah. get some um, experience. And you'll love it. Parents will love it too, not it's just the kids. Fun. We all learn something from it. Oh, yeah. I did too. Want to give a little shout out to those of you that are watching us. Elizabeth Rose, Sandy Dedimore, uh, Dari Vera, Let's see, Elaine Stevens, thank you for joining us. Kristen Weaver, Jason Scheel, Edwin Baker, Diana Marsh. Uh, if the rest of you are out there, we appreciate you spending a few minutes with us today too. And look forward to a little bit more from us in the coming weeks. We are doing our best to tell the stories of our communities and help us help you. Let us know what you want, what you need, what you find engaging in the paper and on our social media, yeah. in our online presence, and we will be happy to grow and learn with you. This is all a time for learning and new things. So that being said, if there are any questions that you guys would like answered, if we happen to do another Facebook Live soon,
comment them on this video so that we can find them or send them to us in the Facebook messaging or on Instagram, anywhere that you are able to. Good place to plug the WC Insider too. Yes, the WC Insider is also a great form of entertainment. I actually make them, so I'm very proud of them and I like to think they're pretty cool. But we have been publishing some tips for how you can work from home more productively, how to balance having the kids there and how to occupy them but still keep them focused on getting their schoolwork done yeah. um, and some fun stuff too we've done gardening and other tips to help with boredom if that does occur lots of really cool things and WC Insider is our e-newsletter so if you go to wilsoncountynews.com there's a way to sign up on there yeah and how else can people sign up uh i think they can also probably just send an email to support at wcn-online.com and all we need is your name and your email and we can add you to the wc insider list and those are free to receive as long as you've signed up just so you know so yeah and don't think that it's um, just the newspaper recycled. It's a whole different product, and you're going to get content there that you won't see anywhere else. This is literally just the Wilson County News' exclusive side, and we think it's really cool. So, so be an insider and sign up. Yeah. We'd love to have you join us. We really would. It would be great. Hope to see you there. <laughs> and I think that's all we've got for you today, but thanks for joining us, and we look forward to catching up with you again in the near future. Yes. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>